Now, whilst I was in Boots, I could not help myself. I had to go by the sleek um, counter. And whilst I was there, I saw that they had some matte lipsticks that quite reminded me of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I think everyone, NYX, everyone's doing like these dry matte lipsticks. So I picked up three colours. I picked up Rioja Red, Birthday Suit and Petal. And uh, I tried the Birthday Suit whilst I was there. I Basically I was like, well, we don't know if Sleek is going to be that good of a product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Chestnut Lip Pen and then I'm going to put the Birthday Suit in the middle and see how it works as a nude lipstick. I walked around, did my shopping, came back to the sleep counter, looked in the mirror after like an hour, and it was still very pigmented, it was still very strong, so I was like, considering how cheap they are, they're about $4.99 each, I might as well just buy three of them and try them out. If it works, and I need to continue using them, I'll just buy them off eBay, unless I go to the UK. But they are so nicely pigmented, I, I love them. I love them. I've been using them since... It's open. I've been using them very, very religiously. I will just swatch what birthday suit looks like. And you will see what happens right there. Birthday suit and Kinda Sexy are pretty much the same colour. They're dupes for each other. And this one, let's see. Rioja Red reminds me of Ruby Woo. I mean, I'll do a, a swatch of all of these on my actual lips at another video. But it looks like Ruby Woo completely. I mean... Maybe they're just trying to um, emulate them. And Petal is a pink one. It's very pink. Very bright pink. If you, it reminds me of Candy Yum Yum. That's how white it is. But I think if you can use it in a way where you can put on your lipstick and if you're looking for ombre look, you will go in with Petal in the middle. It will really brighten up your look. So I got those three. Whilst I was there, obviously, I have run out of my brow pomade. So I had to get the sleek brow kit in extra dark extra dark so that's what it looks like and when you open it you've got the powder wait the powder and the liquid and then you've got a tweezer and two brushes so one brush is to mark your brows another one is to take the powder and set it and then you've got tweezers for those stray hairs that you would like to tweeze out I don't have stray hair in fact I don't have much hair on my eyebrows so I don't pluck whilst I was there I was looking at some MAC um, eyeshadows but, I mean, let's be honest, MAC can be quite expensive and sleek for the cost of one palette. I basically couldn't even afford half a refill from MAC. So I saw these colours that I was looking at getting from MAC and I got the Ultra Mattes Dark and the Ultra Mattes Bright. So I'm going to start with the mattes, the dark, so that you can have a look at what it looks like inside. So there we go. And that's what it looked, what the colours look like. Right there. Really dark, really pigmented. I mean, uh, let me just try the green and then you can see what it looks like. Let's just put that on. That's what the green looks like. And that is what the darker green looks like. And that's what actually pulled me to them. I mean, they dry... They come on very matte, that's the brown one, and then we'll try the pink one. So as you can see, very pigmented. As always with Sleek, they're very pigmented and we love that about them. I already have one of their palettes and this, is, this will be a great addition to my collection. Then I got the brights and this is the one I was mostly excited about because all of the colours I was looking to buy at MAC, they had them and they had them in one palette. Look at that. I mean, this is like yellow, everything, all in one. So I'm not saying I'm going to use all these colours at one and the same time, but you can combine them to get a really graphic look, a really nice popping look. And I absolutely adore them. And they were $7.99 each. Like I said, a MAC refill is about £14. So these are a great bet to get. Now I just have to wipe this off my hands. <laughs> and one thing about the sleek lipsticks, look how... You can wipe them, but they literally stay on. They, they don't budge. They don't want to go anywhere. I'm coming to the little cheaper items that I purchased. I got... <sighs> now, I love my teeth white and I love my eyes white. Especially if I'm tired, I need to have eye drops that are going to make my eyes super white. So what I tend to do is get these eye drops that are called Optrex 
eye dew dazzling eye drops these make my eyes go very very white even when I'm tired and I've got bloodshot eyes you all I have to do is drop two drops in each eye and it goes super white so I love those and they were around about £3.99 so that's something I use all the time they don't sell them in Sweden I don't know why but you can't find them anywhere I also picked up two items that are for my teeth my toothpaste is called Blanks toothpaste and they actually have a mouthwash as well it's called white shock formula and it just keeps plaque off your teeth, keeps them white, keeps them unstained so I also got that now the second item that I got was this teeth whitening you basically put it on your teeth how does it work? it has vitamin E helps your teeth be very white and you just use it every night just like any cosmetic serum product so I got one of them as well. So ever since I lived in the UK and Soap and Glory came out at Boots, I have been a Soap and Glory junkie. Not only are the packaging very retro and very chic, but they smell nice. And it's not something I will use every single day, but it's something that I love to use on a Sunday when I'm having my pamper sessions. So the first two items that I purchased was the hand food, which looks like that. And then I also got the Heels Genius, which is for your feet. So this keeps your feet soft and this keeps your hands soft. So I keep both of them in my bag when I go out because not only are they small and handy to fit in your purse, but when I'm out and wearing high heels, if my feet get tired or start to hurt, I will take the Heel Genius and like rub it on my feet and put back my heels on because then it doesn't hurt as bad. Two other items that I got was, one was Pulp Friction and it's a foamy fruity body scrub. So basically as you're like scrubbing your body, like your stubborn areas like your bum or your thighs, things like that, it foams a lot and it's really nice and very scented. Gives you that pick me up in the bathroom when you're there in the morning and you're tired and you don't want to go to work. Um, I also got the Scrub of Your Life which is a, mm, it's more for your shins, for the elbows and the knees. Any area that you may be super dry in, you use this to get rid of the stomach areas. It's, it has more granules than the pulp friction. The pulp friction is nicer on your body, whilst this one is, it's got very thick stones in it that you use to get rid of dead skin. So it's really lovely. And of course I could not, the packaging as I say is just so adorable. I couldn't help myself when I saw this. It's a oat shea butter sugar body smoother. That's a mouthful. Mm. Oh, it smells like oats, like your morning porridge. But they've mixed it all and this is what it looks like inside. It's got little granules. And I use that too as a body scrub. Yet again, I alternate on my Sundays what I use, what smells nice. Am I having a bath or am I having a shower? That's the kind of time that I like to use it. Now the next three items are all do the same thing, but they have different packaging and they also have different sets. So, I've got this one, the Mean Clean Girls Body Wash. Then I also got the Rich and Famous Body Wash. And I got the, what was it, phone call. <laughs> and there's a lady with a phone calling. Um, the, the point with these three items is they can you work as a shower gel and they can also work as a bath bubble bath. So all three of them are just smell so amazing and are so nice that I could not help but get, get them as well. So as you can see right behind me, these are all the things that I purchased from London. Um, it ranges from the cheapest stuff, which is like £2.99, to the most expensive stuff. I think the MAC cost me a lot more than anything else I purchased but because I purchased a lot of things at the same time it did add up actually that's a lie I think the purity probably is my most expensive item um, the log cosmetics items I got as testers and I've been testing them and using them and they are absolutely oh, to die for I can't wait for Dami to come to Stockholm and basically show us her products so that we can purchase while she's here but I don't think I regret any of the items I purchased. I know every single one of them will be used at, in different degrees. So I'd rather be safe than sorry and just get as many as I can rather than get few and then regret that I didn't get more, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, I hope you subscribe to the channel and you share and you 
keep an eye out for the rest of my videos which will be vlog vlogging videos um, when the Black Vogue girls and I went to London we basically had a portable camera that we're walking around with and just filming anything we thought was interesting I also filmed with my bigger camera which was a pain to carry but it was so much fun so stay tuned for my African Fashion Week um, London videos and I hope to see you guys soon again take care bye